In April, a group of nine fearless adventurers departed for Ghana, West Africa. Evidently, we were traveling by faith because we all went standby to Amsterdam, Netherlands. I don't know if we were full of faith or naive, but the Lord was with us. You know, if you are with eight other people for eight days, you notice that some of your brothers and sisters in the Lord could start to get on your nerves. And then you realize that what you've been doing for the last several days have changed lives eternally. And then you know that it's just fine. We all grew spiritually to the trip, whether it was Hutch who uh, has traveled on many mission trips or one of the ladies taking her first one. We all have friends and know Christians thousands of miles away because we made the decision to go. No one can take that away. We have stayed in a number of different hotels in Swadru, uh, one of the places that we stay in Ghana. The Greenland Hotel has been by far the best uh, accommodations. And during a normal season, they have backup generators. The preachers and the WBS follow-up workers in Africa are great. We had 117 who were baptized during the campaign. Many others were later. Amen. 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 Since January 1st, over 500 people have been baptized. Mesa has supplied each new Christian with a Bible in their native language. That's over $3,000 in Bibles alone. That's the importance of each dollar given. Another Bible for a new Christian. There are many stories and exciting things happening in Ghana. Ask any of us who were there. Better yet, plan to go for eight days with some of your closest friends September 2008. See you there.